Hi, uh, the eye stent or tobacco micro bypass device is the smallest medical device implanted in the human body. I present several cases here of eye stent implantation done in conjunction with cataract surgery. If you're just starting uh, implanting eye stents or contemplating uh, implanting eye stents, you've probably already heard that the most important thing is to have an adequate view. Take the time to get a good view, to adjust your zoom and your focus so you're comfortable that you have a good view before attempting to implant the eye stent. During implantation, you are puncturing the inner wall of Schlem's canal or the trabecular meshwork and threading the device into Schlem's canal. The snorkel remains at the bypass for aqueous travel from the anterior chamber into Schlem's canal. When the device is inserted, it's normal to see a reflux of blood and it's actually an indication that you are in the proper position. You also want to test memory by tapping on the device and ensuring that if the device moves, it returns to the same position. Also an indication that you are in the correct position. I would also advise uh, that you be careful not to hyperinflate the anterior chamber as this will uh, collapse Schlem's canal and make it uh, significantly more difficult to thread the device into Schlem's canal. A theme from the device insertion impedes your view, then you can use visco elastic to clear the heme and check for placement. You can also use this as an opportunity to tap on the device and make sure that you have good memory as well. I'll present one more case and I'll leave you with uh, the two pearls that helped me the most. Number one, make sure that your zoom is adequate. And number two, don't uh, overinflate or hyperinflate the anterior chamber. Thank you for watching.